those companies that can affect the digital transformation, if, if you do, you will win and thrive in the future. And if you don't, you will die. The, the problem that we're trying to solve with open process automation comes from the fact of the closed and proprietary nature of the current uh, industrial control systems products that are barriers to entry of new technology and also in, in result in uh, unacceptably high cost to replace or upgrade compared to what, what the, the customers experience with other technologies that use computing and network technology in this day and age. Back before 2017, we had been working in, in the telecom environment, helping them build uh, distributed clouds all over the world. And we sort of realized that if you could actually take computing and move it to the extreme edge, very close to uh, where humans would interact or where uh, the data was getting, getting accessed, this could be transformational to the world. We started to look at areas that we could start to apply some of these ideas. And we found that the industrial process automation space was going through a similar innovation called Industry 4.0. And it just hit all the right marks for us to start to apply some of our ideas that we had been thinking about in cloud and in edge computing. And we could start to apply those ideas um, into, the, into the industrial market. So if I think about companies that aren't participating in, in the open process systems or open process automation forum, they are gonna be left behind. Um, customers like ExxonMobil and other big com companies like them have, have already decided that this is the direction they wanna go. And it's not just oil and gas and energy. It's, you know, it, it's electric power generation. It's, uh, you know, it's food and beverage. It's the pharmaceuticals. All of those industry sectors that can benefit by making this digital transformation. If we can break the monolith of what is now still called an industrial control system so that obsolescence and life cycle management can be done on a component level, level rather than an entire system level. Um, you know, these are the, these are the incentives uh, for, for change to the status quo. Well, the goals we had for this pilot were to really demonstrate what was possible with open process automation. We've been working with a lot of the industrial leaders over the last couple of years to try to define what an open process automation system is, but we haven't been able to actually demonstrate that or show it. And this was a pilot where we had the opportunity to take a significant step forward to not only show that this is, that has potential and that it has possibilities, but that those are powerful possibilities. Trust was earned literally by working sessions at the whiteboard the ExxonMobil guys explaining the problem, you know, the seaplane guys uh, explaining their their take at the solution to the problem. And, you know, that that, that was, a, a you know, it starts out with misalignment and you keep working, you keep working and you converge on, on a shared vision. And, and it was that, you know, it was those sessions at the whiteboard. I mean, I still vividly remember them. You've got, we'd draw something, we'd take pictures, we'd go back, we'd think about it. And then we would postulate something and we would, you know, this was like progressive experimentation, you know, with first with words and ideas and hand waving, then with sketches on the whiteboard, then with, you know, mock-ups in, in engineering design tools, you know, then Seaplane built the lab and, and, you know, showed us what they could do with the, the orchestration software. And that's the, I mean, that's how we got there. The coronavirus continues to spiral out of control in the U.S. But around Morning, our headlines today containing the spread of the new variant of coronavirus. So COVID was really a, um, a curveball for us. Um, we really had to rethink how we were going to get this project done. We tried to get together, but every time we tried to get together, they started to shut down different uh, different parts of the world. We tried to get together in Europe, uh, in the U.K., um, uh, even in America. and. As we were going through that process, they started to shut it down. So we really needed to, to up our game in terms of how we 
develop the system. The innovation at this level where it's groundbreaking innovation and it's something that has never been done before is always challenging. But when you layer on top of that COVID-19 and the challenges that COVID-19 presented around how do we collaborate together? And we wrangled with this for a couple of days before we made the decision that, hey, we're all in on this. Uh, we're gonna do this. We're gonna make it happen. I'm astonished that the, pro the pilot project would even, even happened so Seaplane stepped up to the plate. Uh, they worked with ExxonMobil on uh, what that end result uh, need is. And they came to Supermicro saying, look, we're looking for hardware. We're looking for this environment. All this happening during COVID. Uh, we also stepped up to the plate because we definitely saw the, the need. So we delivered. And I think that collaborative effort on what is the problem, what do we want to drive into the solution, and we proved it. It's important that we work together and collaborate for each party to bring the best in class technologies to the table. And so, like I mentioned earlier, Schneider brings the technology to do the, the control system, and then Seaplane has the technology to do the orchestration. And together, it's, it's like one plus one equals three. You know, and, and again, Seaplane uh, rose to the challenge by basically building the laboratory facilities that were required for the pilot uh, in, in basically in a bi-coastal way. So I am amazed that we pulled it off and, and kudos to Seaplane. This pilot really lays the groundwork for uh, the foundation for open process automation to begin to accelerate in its development and becoming a reality. So during this pilot, we knew we were doing something innovative. And after we were done, it just dawned on me that no one's ever done this before. As ARC and ExxonMobil and others began to really say how significant our results were from that pilot, that was really encouraging to us because we think that we can, it's really allowed us to say, hey, we're going to continue to double down on uh, open process automation and on focusing on these this industrial market. Uh, it's, uh, it's something that's been really encouraging for us and validating for us. And that was really touching in a lot of ways that we could we could actually accomplish that in all the adversity and all of the challenges that we had over the over the year so for end users it's it's essential to move this direction they need to cut back on their costs of ma maintaining these systems they need to be able to take advantage of new technology when it becomes available and so they are all embracing this going forwards and then as i mentioned earlier um, we need a way to manage these systems and seaplane has a solution in terms of orchestration that, that helps us do that in a very um, effective way. So I, I see both open systems and orchestration as being very important for the future. So we're now in that next evolutionary step of using more computer vision, using more analytics, more compute power at the edge uh, versus a cloud environment or very human aspect of it. I've been in this industry for 40 years and this is an opportunity for me to be on the leading edge of the next generation of system. I'd like to leave this as a legacy, that something I've worked on and people will see my name associated with this new technology when it's released. And so um, being involved with Seaplane, um, they're such a great company and their technology is so, so um, fantastic that it really is the glue to make everything happen. And so we're very proud to work with Seaplane. You know, I have probably created 20 products in my career that um, have been groundbreaking products. Each of those products did something new uh, that had never been done before. Uh, and it's very exciting to be a part of that. And this initiative, open process automation, is bigger than all of those combined. So this is something that's uh, really ground shaking. It's gonna really transform an entire industry. And we're excited to be a part of that. And we're excited to be a catalyst in making that happen and making that a reality. We want to build things for the companies that want to take advantage of the benefits that we, we see, those of us who believe the op open process automation vision. So we, we want to be agents of change by doing. 
doing the things that we're doing in, in the open control systems, which is a very difficult environment, if we can prove things there, then um, there's a chance that the, we can change the world in other places.